Still no signs of a breakthrough during ceasefire talks in the Middle East. Negotiators want to end the war between Israel and Hamas and return Israeli hostages. CBS's Skylar Henry reports after one of those hostages was rescued this week. Israeli military forces rescued 52-year-old Kaid Farhan Al-Qadi after he was found alone inside an underground Hamas tunnel at an undisclosed location in southern Gaza. He is back home in Israel. I cannot go into many details of this special operation, but I can share that Israeli commandos rescued Kaid Farhan Al-Qadi from an underground tunnel following accurate intelligence. His family had been waiting 326 days. The father of 11 was taken by army helicopter to a hospital in Israel. He appears to be in general good condition, but will require another day or two of medical tests to make sure he is still okay. We are ecstatic with his family. Al-Qadi's brother says the former hostage ate some baklava and visited with his newborn son. <laughs> Thank God, he said. Thank God that he gave us news today after 11 months, news we didn't imagine and didn't dream even. Al-Qadi is one of 250 Israelis and foreigners who were taken during a Hamas-led attack in southern Israel on October 7th. 1,200 people died. His rescue came the same day Palestinian officials said at least 18 people, including eight children, were killed in Israeli airstrikes across the Gaza Strip. As we have been from the start, we remain intently focused on de-escalating tensions in the Middle East while also remaining focused on securing a ceasefire as part of a hostage deal to bring all of the hostages home and to end the war in Gaza. More than 100 hostages are still being held. Israel says at least a third of them have died. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.